what are y'all's experience with band and steel versus midline incision when trying to do either an intrapelvic or some form of anterior acetabular exposure? That corner don't heal right. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It should. It's right? a, There's so much blood supply, only, but it, it's it, only been a handful of times. But man, sand to that corner. It's it's just not been. You know, it hasn't been that fun. Um, so, you know, I, I've unfortunately not been as lucky. I've had that umbilicus, the symphysis. I've had to do a smiley face underneath. And as as good as as good as we get that corner, sometimes it doesn't heal. So that that's that's kind of been my experience. And Rich, yeah. just for the audience and everything, what you're talking about is adding sort of the fan and steel style incision to the bottom of the X lap incision, correct? The vertical X lap incision. Yeah, you know, because the thing is depending on who does it, like most trauma, sur general surgery, trauma surgeons will make, I mean, it's not going to be like an old school sternum down kind of thing, but even with a small umbilicus to symphysis, even if you want to do a pararectus approach, the angiosome is too tight and you can't, it, it, you're, 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 you're at risk of destroying that entire skin bridge there. So, you know, for me, I, I end up having to do that fan and steel. I just, you know, unfortunately, sometimes even in the youngest, healthiest people, it just doesn't heal right. 